नमस्कार बंधुरा आलोर आलपिने अपन स्वागत सुशिक्षा आन सुचेतना सुचेतना खुजे पाए सठी समाधान हमारा जो क्लस नाइन ग्रीस टेक्सटबुक थे आ डे इन दू कर Acknowledgement. We are using this textbook for educational purpose and for classroom use only. No commercial use is being made. Copyright owner. West Bengal Board of Secondary Education. A Day in the Zoo Gerald Durrell Do. Gerald Durrell A Day in the Zoo Gerald Durrell The Author and the Text Gerald Malcolm Durrell, 1925-1995, was an English zookeeper, conservationist, and author. He founded what is now called the Durrell Wildlife Conservation Trust and the Jersey Zoo, now Durrell Wildlife Park on the Channel Island of Jersey in 1958. He is perhaps best remembered for writing a number of books based on his life as an animal enthusiast. The following passage is an extract from Menagerie Manor by Gerald Durrell, where the author talks about how he set up his own zoo in Jersey, helped by a team dedicated to the cause of the animals. The extract describes a typical day in the zoo and the experience of the zoo workers and offers us an interesting insider's view of the zoo. It is one thing to visit a zoo as an ordinary member of the public. It is quite another thing to own a zoo and live in it. It certainly enables you to rush out at any hour of the day or night to observe the animals. It also means you are on duty 24 hours a day. It is one thing to visit a zoo as an ordinary member of the public. It is quite another thing to own a zoo and live in it. It certainly enables you to rush out at any hour of the day or night to observe the animals. It also means you are on duty 24 hours a day. The average zoo day begins just before dawn. The sky will be slightly tinged with yellow when you are awakened by the bird song. You can hear a robin singing. You hear the rich, fruity, slightly hoarse cries of the turecos and a joyful blackbird. 
The average zoo day begins just before dawn. The sky will be slightly tinged with yellow when you are awakened by the bird song. You can hear a robin singing. You hear the rich, fruity, slightly hoarse cries of the turacos, and a joyful blackbird. As the last of his song dies, the white-headed thrush bursts into an excited cry. Looking out into the courtyard, on the velvet green lawns you can see an earnest group of peahens searching the dewy grass. A male peahen is dancing, his burnished tail raised like a fountain in the sunlight. As the last of his song dies, the white-headed thrush bursts into an excited cry. Looking out into the courtyard, on the velvet green lawns you can see an earnest group of peahens searching the dewy grass. A male peahen is dancing, his burnished tail raised like a fountain in the sunlight. At 8 o'clock the zoo staff arrives. You can hear them shout greetings to each other. Sounds made by their buckets and brushes are heard. You go out into the cool fresh morning to see if all is right with the zoo. At 8 o'clock the zoo staff arrives. You can hear them shout greetings to each other. Sounds made by their buckets and brushes are heard. You go out into the cool fresh morning to see if all is right with the zoo. The monkeys and other mammals live in the long, two-storied granite house. Here you find a lot of activity. The gorillas have been let out of their cages while the cages are cleaned. They gallop about on the floor with the high spirits of children just out of school. They try to wrench the electric heaters from their sockets, or break the fluorescent lights. Stephen, broom in hand, stands guard over the apes. The monkeys and other mammals live in the long, two-storied granite house. Here you find a lot of activity. The gorillas have been let out of their cages while the cages are cleaned. They gallop about on the floor with the high spirits of children just out of school. They try to wrench the electric heaters from their sockets or break the fluorescent lights. Stephen, broom in hand, stands guard over the apes. Inside the gorilla's cages, Mike, plump and ever smiling, is busy along with Jeremy. They sweep up the mess on the floor and scatter fresh white sawdust. 
everything, they assure you, is all right. All the animals, excited and eager at the start of a new day, bustle about the cages. Atam, the black celeb's ape, clings to the wire, baring his teeth at you in greeting. Inside the gorilla's cage is Mike, plump and ever smiling, is busy along with Jeremy. They sweep up the mess on the floor and scatter fresh white sawdust. Everything, they assure you, is all right. All the animals, excited and eager at the start of a new day, bustle about the cages. Etam, the black Celebes ape, clings to the wire, baring his teeth at you in greeting. Upstairs in the house, the parrots and parakeets salute you with a cacophony of sounds. Siku, the gray parrot cries, I'm a very fine bird. A host of quick-footed, bright-eyed mongooses patter busily around their cages. The hairy armadillo lies on its back, paws and nose twitching. Upstairs in the house, the parrots and parakeets salute you with a cacophony of sounds. Suku, the gray parrot cries, I'm a very fine bird. A host of quick-footed, bright-eyed mongooses patter busily around their cages. The hairy armadillo lies on its back, paws and nose twitching. You pass slowly down the house to the big cage at the end where the tour echoes now alive. The male, Petey, I had reared while in West Africa. He peers at you from one off higher perches. Then, if you call to him, he will fly down and land on a perch nearest to you. Then he will throw back his head and give a husky cry, Karu, 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 Ku, Ku, Ku. You pass slowly down the house to the big cage at the end where the Turacos now live. The male, Petey, I had reared while in West Africa. He peers at you from one off higher perches. Then, if you call to him, he will fly down and land on a perch nearest to you. Then he will throw back his head and give a husky cry, Karu, 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 Ku, Ku, Ku. You come out of the bird house, then walk to the reptile house. Here, in a pleasant temperature of 80 degrees the reptiles doze. 
Snakes regard you calmly with lidless eyes. Frogs make gulping sounds. Lizards lie draped over rocks and tree trunks. You come out of the birdhouse, then walk to the reptile house. Here, in a pleasant temperature of 80 degrees the reptiles doze. Snakes regard you calmly with lidless eyes. Frogs make gulping sounds. Lizards lie draped over rocks and tree trunks. At 10 o'clock the zoo gates open and the first rush of visitors arrive. As they come flooding into the grounds, everyone has to be alert. This is not to ensure that the animals do not hurt the people, but to make sure that the people do not hurt the animals. At 10 o'clock the zoo gates open and the first rush of visitors arrive. As they come flooding into the grounds, everyone has to be alert. This is not to ensure that the animals do not hurt the people, but to make sure that the people do not hurt the animals. If an animal is asleep, they want to throw stones at it or prod it with sticks to make it move. We have found visitors trying to give the chimpanzees lighted cigarettes and razor blades. The uncivilized behavior of some human beings in a zoo has to be seen to be believed. Towards evening the visiting crowd thins out. The slanting rays of the sun light the cage where the crowned pigeons live. As the light fades, the robin ceases to sing and flies off to roost in the mimosa tree. Towards evening the visiting crowd thins out. The slanting rays of the sun light the cage where the crowned pigeons live. As the light fades, the robin ceases to sing and flies off to roost in the mimosa tree. The white-faced owls that have spent all day pretending to be gray tree stumps, now open large golden eyes. Shadows are creeping over the flower beds and rockery. There is a sudden chorus from the chimpanzee's bedroom. You know they are quarreling over who should have the straw. The white-faced owls that have spent all day pretending to be gray tree stumps, now open large golden eyes. Shadows are creeping over the flower beds and rockery. There is a sudden chorus from the chimpanzee's bedroom. 
You know they are quarreling over who should have the straw. As you lie in bed, you watch through the window the moon separating itself from the shadow of the trees. You hear the lion's cough. Soon it will be done and the chorus of birds will take over. The cold morning air will ring with song. As you lie in bed, you watch through the window the moon separating itself from the shadow of the trees. You hear the lion's cough. Soon it will be dawn and the chorus of birds will take over. The cold morning air will ring with song. <laughs> प्लीज सब्सक्राइब करो और उन्नो दिलो बोलो जो कि बेसिक शब्द शब्द की देख बे और जो भी उपकार लागे ताले आमदे पुलिस तो शार्प करो थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग